going on YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a video with testing output between with my base remote in and taking it out. I uh, just want to say that this is just for fun and uh, entertainment, so I don't know if this is actually going to be 100% accurate or not. It may not be any kind of difference, but hey, I'm going to do it anyway. So stay tuned throughout this video, and by the end, you'll be able to see how my output changed. So what I'm going to be using is uh, make sure, if anybody doesn't know, you never want to adjust or move your remote while the amplifier is on. So my initial test is going to start with it being installed in, and then I make sure the amplifier is cut off before I remove it, because if you don't, you actually can blow your amplifier. It will actually cause a pop sound, which is dangerous for your amplifier. It could actually cause the component, something inside the capacitor to pop or something else. I could be wrong. Maybe you guys that know amplifier component guts and stuff could explain that. But here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Before anything, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like videos like this, subscribe if you haven't. I do a lot of car audio videos uh, testing. If anybody doesn't know, I have a single tin. Uh, my box isn't the prettiest, but it's just a project that I have, and I'm trying to do some things to it. And I'm curious about this one. Now, I was going to do it off camera, but I figured I'd do it on camera so you guys can learn. So let's go and get started. So I'm going to find out how it does. All right, so the remote's in already for this test. So what I'm going to be doing is going in and actually using a meter so this is an SSA meter I use for a lot of my tests you can have any kind of SPL meter you got to have a device to know the output difference but for this video it'll be entertainment you don't need a meter to learn this we'll find out and of course every amplifier is different and how I'm going to be doing this test is having my bass knob all the way up that was a little loud all the way up and on so being on max I 100% know that my bass knob is going to be it shouldn't have an effect with this wire input, but you never know what happens with this wire and you kind of a current difference with output just on the base adjustment level. So I'll have that base knob. This is hooked to the amp. It's on right now. It's turned all the way up. Okay. So we're going to find out with the meter. So I'm going to turn the meter on. I'm going to have the meter in the exact same location on the vehicle. Most people just put the meter on the glass and I'm going to have a vehicle or um, a, a just a frequency hertz that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to find out what the meter score is before and after. So before is going to be with the knob, after is without the knob and we'll see how the output changes. So here we go. This should be a little fun test. Uh, some people might not realize it, but base knob could affect output. You never know. It shouldn't because this is all the way up, but we'll find out here in a minute. All right, so let's do a couple of them. Let me make sure my Bluetooth's on on my other phone hooked up to the meter and we'll find out sorry about the uh ugly mess up front if anybody's new watching this is just my project truck it's not a daily driver all right so my meter's hooked up and we'll find out so i'm gonna do a let's just say i'll do around my peak so 42 hertz and we're gonna do that with and without Okay, so I'm done. I always do at least two or three runs just to make sure the meter kind of picked up with the output of it. And I'll save that. Remember, 117.74. So now what I'm going to do is turn the vehicle off. All right, vehicle's off. Confirm. Base knob is off. No power. So now we're going to go back there, not change any settings, keep the meter on, and we're going to do the exact same thing with that knob out. So I'm going to go back here. Same case scenario. Nothing should change. I'm hoping it doesn't, but I've never done this. So I'll take this out. All right, the remote is out. So the amp will still turn on. Nothing changes. All I did was remove that remote connection point. All right, so we'll find out how this is different just by doing that. I'll turn it back on. Let's hope there ain't no amplifier pop. You never know. First time having no base knob hooked up to it. So this isn't going to turn on because there's no base knob hooked up now. Um... Let me know in the comments if you guys think there's something that would be that would make this different. Um, but we'll find out output wise. Right now we'll find out. So I'm going to do that exact same tone again and find out. All right. 
right, so that's the number there, and I'll look in a second the difference. So just want to say real quick commentary. This doesn't prove anything. Um, when you're going full tilt, the amp can only put out so much power. I'll talk about that afterward in the back. All right, so I got that. Let's look at the pictures of the two numbers, and that's pretty much the test. So we got 17.74. Let me turn off the amp again because I'm going to plug it back in and do one more validation test. So 17.74 to 18.4 so just quick math this isn't proving anything but just out of fun curiosity i wanted to make a video on it so 17.74 minus 118.47 so 0.73 db difference with uh, initial sweep test just with that 42 hertz so with the meter plugged in it was point uh three quarters of a db less but this is at low volume i'm sure when you're playing full tilt or a full volume, it probably won't matter, but for lower volume, I could physically tell a difference. Audibly, my ear, just slightly, I could tell it was a little louder as well. But yeah, uh, three quarters of a dB at lower volume levels with that bass knob not hooked up versus it being hooked up. And this was all the way up. So um, I don't know what would have made that difference, but just for video purposes, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead, the, the head unit's off. So it means my amp's off. I'm going to go plug it back in and do one more initial test just to confirm the numbers. Um, if there's a major change in the test, then let's just say this is going to be scary if there is a difference because that means this is this could have a short, but I doubt it, but we'll see. All right, so it's plugged back in. Base knob should turn on when I turn it on. All right. This is low volume, so voltage doesn't... Sorry, voltage doesn't change, volume is the same. And we're gonna do one more initial test. Um, here we go. Okay, reset that. Sorry about that. All right, we're gonna do the 42 hertz. Here we go. So I always do a couple of tones uh, runs just to make sure and confirm that the um, the output on the meter, because if the meter is normally within a tenth or two, two tenths or so tolerance wise, but there you go. So found out it was a 17.74, 17.4. So yeah, right within a tenth or two. So we know that didn't change. So yep, still three quarter dB difference with that base knob not hooked up. Now, I might do another video if you guys ask for it in the comments, and I, I might just have a day of free time where I actually will do a full tilt burp test with the knob and without the knob and see if there's a difference. So if y'all want that, comment and let me know. So I'll go ahead and turn this off, and I have a final commentary to say in the back, and then I'll end this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I do a lot of cardio videos for entertainment and projects I learn on my own, but while I do it myself, I test and tune and tweak and mess with my system just a small little system project on the side i do videos on it on my second channel so if you haven't already check out my main channel too jacob vial 2 uh, i do videos for demo cardio systems and stuff like that too for my single 10. all right so my last thing before i end just in summary found out that i gained uh three quarters of a db with the remote wire not plugged in when i had it plugged in i double checked before and after it was three quarter db less on low volume I don't know if I'm going to do an initial test with the full volume and see if there's a difference. I'm going to assume there's not, but of course, unless you do it, you never know. So having a base knob in here affects output. It could be because of the wire. It could be because of the um, connection of the remote. It could be because of the switch on the knob. It could be distortion. There could be a signal loss. It could be a voltage adjustment difference um, going to the head unit to the amplifier output RCAs. I mean, I don't know. You guys can comment and give me some feedback. But that's this video. Hope you guys learned something. Stay tuned again for updated videos of other projects on Jacob Ball 2. Until next time, see ya.